Having fed the 5,000, Jesus withdrew to a mountain by himself. The following day, he crossed over the Sea of Galilee and the crowds followed him. And when they came to him, Jesus said, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs that I was performing, but because you ate the loaves that had your fill. Jesus is telling them that the miracles they had witnessed should have caused them to join up the dots and conclude that he is the Son of God. He is God who has come among them. But they didn't do that. The reason they came seeking Jesus was not so they could become faithful disciples or make him their Lord and Savior. No, they came to recruit one who was a miracle worker. They were impressed that Jesus had fed them the previous day. But Jesus has something superior to give to them. He could give them bread that would give them eternal life. And immediately they asked for a sign, recalling how their ancestors were fed with bread miraculously for some 40 years in the wilderness. They're now asking Jesus, what are his credentials? I would have thought that feeding 5,000 people the previous day was sufficient, but apparently it wasn't. It was God who gave their ancestors bread from heaven. Now Jesus says, my father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And when they heard this, they said, give us this bread. And Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Jesus is emphatic. Spiritual hunger and thirst will only be satisfied by believing in him who came down from heaven to give his life as a perfect sacrifice upon the cross. I'll have more to say about that in the next video.